Well, I started in the here at the, in the fall of '69, and uh, so to answer that last question, what's kept me going all these years? You know, probably several things. Uh, my health, for one thing, and I and I work kind of hard at that. Uh, I don't know, the patience to be able to hang with 17-year-old kids for all those years, uh, and just this teaching environment. I've never really known any other, so uh, I started here. And I went to school here to start with, came in the fall of 1956 as a freshman. and. Uh, so this has kind of been my life. We get asked that question. How are kids different today from back in, you know, 72 or 70 or whatever? And uh, the answer, standard answer was, well, the kids really haven't changed that much. But the parents have. Uh, parenting has changed a lot over the years. But I think that uh, kids are changing. And I think a lot of that's due to technology, uh, and I'm not, I'm not quite ready yet to say whether it's a good change or whether it has some negative to it. Uh, I, I think that could be, but yeah, I do see a change in, in attention levels and things like that with students these days. But the, but the underlying fundamentals of kids showing up every day, five days a week during the school year, sitting down and, and learning, that must not have changed really. You know, we're pretty blessed here. Uh, we hold the kids accountable. And I think that's, you know, that's one of the big uh, challenges for us to do that. And so they understand and they hopefully buy in, to, you know, this atmosphere. Uh, and so, yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, we hold them accountable, both academically and character-wise and everything. And they can be pretty resilient. I mean, they can respond to that and make that adjustment. There's always, you know, everywhere you go, you're gonna always have those interesting characters. And I've had a bunch of those over the years. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty much, they're pretty good. You can hear a bunch of them right now.